Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be doing an off the mat narwhal, so I'm super excited to be doing this one. Um, it's super last minute as well because it's for my daughter's softball opening parade. So we're gonna be doing a few things on here. Uh, we're gonna be incorporating, of course, HTV because I like to use it to make my life a little bit easier. Um, this has the word narwhals on it. Hopefully I spelled it correctly, my goodness. And then, um, so that I don't have to individually place each letter. Um, so I'm gonna cut it off here. And while I'm doing that, we're just gonna get started. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I appreciate all the support. And I'm just cutting out this middle section. I cut something there, and then this is scrap that I will be saving. So one of my favorite things to do is to use HTV because it gives me a different color and texture that I might not have available to me in cardstock. And it also, like for when it has like a lot of details or in this case were letters, um, and I didn't want to have to cut each individual letter, pull it off the mat, and then glue each individual letter. So I'm doing it like this. So you can see the weeding is really nice as well. Um, I am using Polytape HTV, which I love their HTV. It cuts, it weeds really easily, and then it also applies very nicely, quickly, so you don't burn anything. All right, so I have narwhals. I've got the base softball bat, baseball bat that it's going on. So it's gonna look like this. And I have my Cricut, the, the mini. So I'm gonna put it like that, I think. So I've got it on two. And I'm just slowly applying heat on each letter. And that's, hopefully it will be enough for me to pull off this protective sheet, no. Um, cause once I pull it off the protect, once I pull the protective sheet off the carrier sheet, I'm going to put Teflon on top and I'm going to press it one more time. And the reason why I do that is because when we pull off the carrier sheet, a lot of times it's ready to go, right? It's super easy. It's not like a hard thing to do. There's not a lot of resistance, but any resistance is you're basically pulling the anchor away from the project. So what I mean by that is, I mean, you can see this is coming off really easily, but that gave a little bit of resistance right there. Okay, so I need to apply more heat there. That's what it's basically telling me. So let me apply more heat here. I just want it down. I mean, luckily <laughs> when you're dealing with um, paper, you know you're not gonna get it wet. So it doesn't have to last through the wash or anything like that but you still want it down because you don't want it to fall off. So you can kind of see that was still lifting. All right, so this is off. I'm gonna get my Teflon sheet and I'm gonna apply a little bit more heat on here. And I just, I love using HTV on cardstock because it does give that extra texture. It sits on top a little bit. It's a little bit brighter. Um, and I like it more than adhesive vinyl because people ask me all the time, how come I don't use adhesive vinyl? And well, one is because I have to use the sticky transfer tape and I don't really want to deal with, um, trans, you know, the sticky transfer tape on top of my cardstock. And then two, like if you just look at the glitter, for instance, um, glitter vinyl does not shine like this. So I definitely like this. All right, let me make sure that all my letters are down. I'm gonna do it just one more time. I'm giving heat to each letter. And to me, this is just so much easier and nicer than applying each letter. And the other thing is, because you saw how I did that, it's already attached to each other. So I don't have to worry about the placement. Once it's down, then, you know, it's all even and it's all evenly placed um, as opposed to, you know, putting something down and then it, it shifts a little bit or whatever. All right, so this is down. 
Let's keep going. I'm gonna turn off my mini and get that out of the way. And then let's start putting this guy together. He is one of the more simple off the mat projects because the black background, for instance, was only two pieces. So I'm gonna move all these pieces out. Let's grab the black background. So here's the black background. It's so rare that my off the mat project fits on here and you could see everything too, right? So here is what it looks like. So I'm gonna flip this over and tape him from behind, tape her from behind. And I don't know, so this is our first softball season. I am completely unaware of what opening day is like, but I, um, I've heard the softball one is not as crazy as Little League, so, but there's still like a float and there's a parade. So I know my daughter is going to be so excited. So we're doing this. And then my next project that I'm going to record, I've already cut it and everything is going to be, um, big letters that you can hold up. And so that's going to be great for any sort of sporting event. And then also for floats, for birthday parties, whatever it is. So, all right. I'm taping this down and then we're going to flip it over and start putting all the pieces on top. All right, so I'm going to have it like this. He almost fits. Oh, there. I've got it. At an angle, it all fits. Okay. So we've got this piece like this. Maybe. I don't remember how I cut this. Let's put this piece on. Nope, that's not how I cut it. <laughs> That's why it wasn't working. All right, so here's one piece. Here's the other piece. There is a big seam running across. So let's flip this over and line this up and tape it together. If you watch the design space tutorial, I added a bat to line up exactly where the seam is gonna be so that it's going to look seamless and beautiful, which is what we want. Okay. Now this piece, because this is so like, there's just a handful of pieces on this one. We could start taping it down, but I'm going to continue. Um, no, I know that's where it goes, right? All right. So I'm actually going to use my hot glue gun. Normally I just do regular tape, but this is going on a float with 10, six and seven year old girls. Um, I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. Okay, so it's hot. I'm gonna put this down here like this and I'm gonna glue it in sections. So this is very different than how I normally would do it. So I did the tail so that it's down and then I'm going to, I'm going to flip it this way and I'm going to add a little bit and just slowly put it down like this. So we know it's already attached here. So alignment wise, it's going to just fall down. I'm doing it this way to just add support to this whole image with the hard glue, like with the hot glue gun, it's going to dry hard and it's going to just give me a little bit more stability everywhere. And it's going to make sure that it stays. So you can see this is, and also with the glitter cardstock, I know it can withstand the heat and we're not really going to see the marks behind it. Well, I just glued my table. <laughs> And I'm putting a lot of glue right here because I just want this seam to stay down. All right, I'm gonna pause there for a second. I'm gonna flip it over so that you can see it. So you can see we haven't damaged anything. This seam with this blue, it's so noticeable. That would drive me insane. So <laughs> I'm glad we have the bat. I would have put words or something on there. Um, let me grab some a little bit more glue. Okay, just in case. 
All right, let's add more glue here. Okay, we've got that down. All right, let's look at all the other pieces we have. This is such a fun project. It was a pain in the butt for me to cut it because design space was acting up so much and I had such a hard time. Oh, so I remember now. The way the SVG file was designed is that it butts right up to it. So it's gonna go like this. We, you know, let's put our baseball bat together. So, oh my goodness, I have it backwards. <laughs> no, I knew it. Oh my gosh, I'm. <laughs> I should have done it this way or this way. Oh, just. I'll do this later because I wanted it to go this way. I guess. No, because it doesn't. Mm, no, because the bat looks awful like that. Let me see. Could I still hide it? All right. We're going to look at that in a little bit. This is the little belly. It's so cute. So let's um, let's do a little bit of foam tape just to give it a little bit extra ness. But again, I'm using my I'm gonna use my hot glue gun because I just don't trust these girls. <laughs> It's going to go like this. Okay. I'm just stick my hot glue gun down. Okay, more glue. How cute is that? All right, so it goes like that. Um, let's look at the horn. The horn's gonna go like this, which is nice because it's going to hide the seams. Oops, it's gonna hide the little seams right there. So we're gonna do that and add our little horn. So with this, because it's lighter cardstock and it's not thick, I'm actually going to be using Barely Art Glue and I'm just going to make sure that it's really down there. So I'm going to put this on here to make sure that I like my spacing and then I'm going to put down, I'm going to put down this middle one first because then I can make adjustments to the top and the bottom if I get, um, if it gets a little off. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this bottom one. When I'm gonna apply this horn though, it's pretty cute. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to stick this on with the glue gun. So here we go. It's purposely off like that so that I can cover up the seams. I think the seams are more distracting than would be the the other piece. Okay, so this little guy I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna glue it down as well. It's so cute. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna use this because I do still think that this is so light. I wanna make sure that the glue doesn't come through the paper at all. And I'm just pushing this down. So the glue in the first, you know, few seconds, it's when it's anchoring itself down to the bottom piece, to the other piece. And so I want it to glue flat. I want all the, all the glue to spread out a little bit. So I'm just holding it down while it dries. And this is, you know, it's barely art glue, so it does dry fairly quickly. So I think I'm good there. Let's do this side. This narwhal is pretty cute. Other than, oh my, I'm so annoyed with my baseball bat. <laughs> um, I'll just recut the narwhals. And, you know, with this, so the bat goes this way, right? I'm gonna hold this down really quickly. The bat's gonna go like this. So you see it's gonna cover up that seam completely. I don't need to recut the white. I think I just, you know, need to recut the blue. And so annoyed with myself. <laughs> it's gonna be like this, where it's gonna have narwhals this way. Um, and it's gonna look like that. That's gonna look pretty cute. So let's do the face. So here's the mouth. Pretty cute. I'm just gonna glue it down really quickly. So the mouth is kind of high up. We've got the two eyes. They go like they're kind of wide. Mm, no, I have this backwards. The eyes are both up there because <laughs> the pupils, the little white part, they're both up. Okay, that's how I know, okay. Got two little cheeks. And then, this 
So I like the heart showing. I think I'm gonna have it cover the cheek a little bit. I think that's good placement. So everything is glued down except for the facial features. Let's move this bat out of the way and see where, if this still looks good the way it is. On camera it looks good. Hold on, let me think about this. Maybe like that. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Um, let's do, we'll, hold on. We'll leave that there. Looks good, right? Maybe this down a little bit. Ah. There. And she's so cute. She's going to look seamless of course <laughs> um i wonder and she's gonna look great next to the next to the girls the colors are going to be fabulous she's going to really really stand out which is the whole point of it right Because this is glitter cardstock, I know this is light, but I'm still going to do the hot glue. Because I'm worried that regular glue onto the glitter, it's just not going to stay well enough. So, And actually in that pink, it didn't even come through. One more cheek down and I think we're good. Okay, so everything's down. She looks great. Um, we can even put the bat down. See, we do the bat like that, then all the pieces show, which looks great. So I'm just gonna lift this up. Um, let's put down some foam tape just so that the bat's not so flat against it. Um, yeah. That's like perfect. There's just enough of everything coming through. I'm wondering if. Okay, so I'm not even gonna peel this off. Okay, 
so in here we're gonna have more room to put the foam tape I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then we're just gonna put the foam board um, you know what while this is drying let me just cut and see if I can cut narwhal again <laughs> So annoyed with myself. <laughs> okay, mirror. All right, so it's mirrored. Let's see. I do have an extra piece. So is this the cut piece or the not? Oh, here we go. So give me just one second. We're gonna cut this, and we're gonna redo it, and we're gonna make it work. Okay, why is my device not? Okay, it's coming. So that's drying. I'm gonna put this on, give me one second. It's all a learning opportunity. When you're putting this down, let me do it this way. Make sure you use the brayer to really get it down so that when materials aren't sitting flat on your mat, um, you get bad cuts. So just think of the blade trying to cut through and if it's not flat down, you might get a cut that's not even exact, but also you run the risk of it just not cutting completely through. So I'm gonna select Everyday Iron On, even though it's glitter, because I know my materials. This is HTV from Polytape. It's thinner than Cricut's glitter, so I don't select Glitter Iron On, I select Everyday Iron On. Okay, I'll be right back. So we've got that. Oh, you know what? Okay, we're good. I forgot to put the black behind the cheeks. Not that it matters, but I had cut it out. So that's, you know, last minute projects, I tell you, it's like, it's the pits. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add this on here. And this over here, I'm going to use my hot glue gun. Let's do this one. Let's go and put more foam tape all along here. So, we know we can basically put it on the line because the seam's completely covered, right? And I hear the HTV is done cutting, so we can, I'm gonna turn on my mini and we're gonna redo that. Fix my mistake. <laughs> okay, so similar. Okay, so this part, I'm gonna put the glue up on top. I'm gonna move it this way a little bit so I don't get glue on everything. do a little bit at a time and, oh geez let it dry I'm gonna go peel off this and then all we have left is the foam board so I'm super excited it was not that bad all things considered right <laughs> I'm gonna cut this really quickly, just in case I could use the excess, the scrap for something else. Okay. Um, 
let's finish putting this down. I'm just putting a big chunk there to support that. I'm right here. I know I'm being so wasteful, but. Okay, so here we go. Need more glue stick. All right, so our little guy is down. I'm going to move this up for a second. This is gonna go like this. Oops, you can't see it. And so I'm gonna make sure Narwhals is this way because it makes a difference. I'm gonna peel this off so you can see. Again, how easy. I love this material. I love this brand. You can get poly tape vinyl. HTV at a vinyl outlet. So I have the link. Okay, I'm gonna put it on like that. Let me get this. All right, here we go. Now, unfortunately it has this, which is not a big deal. Um, I'm just gonna press over it. Paper can get some heat to it, so we'll see. And you know what, this S we can just peel off because it's one S. Yeah, it looks like it's right. I'm gonna add the Teflon sheet gently so it doesn't move my S. I want to make sure it doesn't want to come off at all. I'm going to add just a little bit more heat. I didn't feel anything, but once I glue this down, I'm not going to be able to press over it. So all right, I think I'm good. Now it's going to go down. <laughs> Let's see. Right around there. That looks good, right? All right, let's move everything. Tape this down or glue this down. And then we can put the foam board behind it. Okay. Looks so good. put a little bit of glue. I'm going to do the same thing as before. And I'm going to lift this up and glue it down. Oh my gosh, so cute, right? Um, all right, let's let that. I'm going to turn this off. We're going to get ready for the foam board and then it's going to be all done. I'm going to 
Did I glue this part down? Oh, I did glue that down. Gosh, what am I thinking? This is what needs to be glued down. Okay. get all these glue strings out we are done oh my gosh so cute right all right glue strings we're gonna figure that out but let's get this foam board down the foam board part is super super easy and this one He's going to be, or she, is going to be really easy too because it's just, it's going to fit all on a foam board. It's going to be sturdy. So this all fits like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a white pencil and we're going to trace it. And we're going to cut just inside the lines on this one. I'm going to really try to cut just right inside the lines. Oh, geez. Just wrote on my black cardstock. <laughs> I was going to point out where the seam was. There's a little seam right here, about a quarter of an inch. That is the only seam on this entire pro project is just this quarter inch of a seam. Okay, so we've got the whole thing outlined. Um, you want a sharp X-Acto knife. So I have mine here. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut a little bit at a time. So just to make this a little bit easier on myself, I'm gonna cut this off right here. this stick it in and then I'm gonna lock it so this little thing goes from unlock to lock okay I'm gonna throw this away give me a second all right let's see if I get a better cut now I did not like the way that cut I'm gonna flip this over yeah I see it didn't cut all the way through Turn it. 
I'm gonna try to be really smooth. Oh yeah, that cuts so much better. Can you hear it? I can feel it. So this is one of the rare projects where I'm really trying to keep to the outline. Um, oh, well, I guess I keep repeating myself. It's for really young girls. Um, they're not gonna take notice. So I'm trying to keep the project as protective, protected as possible. So I am cutting inside the lines but staying really close to it so that most of the project is gonna be covered. And also that it's a smooth edge so that it doesn't snag to anything, you know. <laughs> now I'm trying to be as foolproof as possible with these girls. Um, all right, so you can still see, okay. Which is also why I use so much of the hot glue gun today instead of just regular glue. So kind of know your audience, also know where the project's gonna go. This is going on a flow, so it's not like one of my typical where it goes on the cake table, where it's nice and safe, right? <laughs> so. Almost done. Here we go. So you can see the whole thing. I'm gonna close this up. So it fits really well here. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you what it looks like from behind. So it went really close to the edge, right? So I think again, I'm gonna do the tail right here. I'm just gonna lift this up. I think everything caught really well. I'm just going to trim this off just a little bit right there. All right, so that's down. I'm gonna flip it over this way. And, ooh, it's gonna be hard to put this down because it's so thick right now. So I'm gonna go in and get as much as I can down here. But we know this project's gonna be really well supported. So I'm super happy about that. Put more glue, another glue stick in. Okay. I'm gonna lift this little side right here just to get this glue in. Get 
this little wing down. My glue gun fell off. Okay, um, let's see. This bat, I'm gonna get down here. so so cute um all right she's all done just clean up the glue and you've got yourself a sign mistakes and all all right i will see you guys next time i'm gonna be doing the the letters next all right see you in a bit